This was an awful day for our northern neighbors in Canada, and it has made for nervousness to the south among law enforcement throughout North America. Two people are dead tonight in Ottawa, a Canadian soldier and a suspect. After a shooting on Parliament Hill, Canada's equivalent of Capitol Hill, a violent morning that culminated in a shootout inside the ornate building where lawmakers were caucusing. The gunman killed in that exchange of fire has been identified as a Canadian citizen who converted to Islam. It all happened in the heart of Ottawa. At the war memorial there and inside the Parliament building, our justice correspondent Pete Williams starts off our coverage tonight. Out of the way! Move, move. Police in Ottawa frantically searched for armed men most of the day in the center of Ottawa, Canada's fourth largest city. Just before 10 a.m. Eastern Time, a soldier standing guard at Canada's National War Memorial was shot and seriously wounded by a man with a rifle. A shocking scene witnessed by many bystanders. Uh, just passing, just over here, and all of a sudden just heard a shot, turned around, and there was a guy with a rifle just around on the back corner, and just pow. I thought it was just firecrackers going off, uh, so I look across the street and there was a man with uh, a rifle shooting at a bunch of people. Witnesses at the memorial say the gunman then hijacked a car. It didn't hurt the gentleman in the car um, and then took off towards the back here and headed in that direction towards the construction. The gunman went about a third of a mile to the building housing Canada's parliament in session at the time. As officers inside responded, dozens of shots rang out inside the building's ornate halls. <laughs> Members of Parliament inside meeting rooms reacted by piling furniture against the doors. Outside, members were hustled away by police and security. Canadian authorities say the gunman was shot and killed in Parliament's Central Hall of Honour by the sergeant at arms. Authorities say he was a 32-year-old Canadian man. Moments later, witnesses reported seeing other armed men on nearby streets dressed in black with white bandanas. Get against the wall right now. A shopping center, schools, and the U.S. Embassy were put on lockdown as heavily armed police swarmed into the streets. How many people we got in here? They searched door to door and checked cars leaving the area, but by day's end, no other gunman was found. The soldier wounded at the memorial, named by Canadian media as Corporal Nathan Cirillo, died a short time after the shooting and was memorialized on Facebook. There's no pain greater than losing a loved one. To have it happen in such circumstances as this morning is beyond expression and underlined by a sad anger within my heart. For more than a week now, Canada has been on a heightened state of alert, concerned about just this kind of attack. Two days ago, a man drove a car at two soldiers near Montreal. One was killed. Now Canadian officials caution military personnel about wearing their uniforms in public. So the challenge will now be for Canada to come up with new smart security precautions, but not to overreact. No changes in security were ordered at U.S. federal buildings, but it was stepped up at the Tomb of the Unknowns at Arlington National Cemetery as a precaution. And in New York, police beefed up their presence outside Canadian and British diplomatic buildings. As for the gunman, U.S. officials say he's Michael Joseph Hall, also known as Michael Zihaf Bibo of Quebec, a recent Muslim convert who just turned 32. They're now looking into possible terrorist connections. Brian. Pete Williams starting us off tonight. Pete, thanks. Canadians have been asked to stay out of the center of Ottawa tonight. It's still very tense around Parliament with a major security presence in and around that building, as you can imagine. NBC's Ron Allen there for us tonight. Ron, good evening. Good evening to you, Brian. Yes, we are on the edge of Parliament Hill. The area is still very much in lockdown. You can see up there the flashing lights, a heavy police presence right around the Parliament building, the War Memorial, where earlier today just chaos and mayhem in the streets as police descended on the area, responding to the reports of gunmen attacking the Parliament building. A heavily congested area here in the heart of the nation's capital. Just unbelievable scenes. Tonight, the businesses in this area, the college campus, the mall here, still shut down. People are in the streets milling about, still trying to comprehend what happened. Still a lot of young people here just trying to make sense of why this would happen in this capital. Police are remaining, uh, are telling people to remain vigilant, remain calm as they try to sort out 
why this happened, exactly what happened, and they're still trying to make sure that it's entirely over. Brian, back to you. Ron Allen in Ottawa after a terrible day there.